Now at 5.30, a huge backlog of rental assistance application going nowhere. In Multnomah County alone, only 36% have been paid out. Our Lindsay Nadrich spoke with one man in Portland who says his application sat in final review for six weeks and still no payment has been issued. Lindsay? Well, the man I spoke with says this program that's meant to be a lifeline for people has caused him so much stress. The most frustrating part, he says, is not being able to get a direct answer from anyone about how much longer he'll have to wait. You know, the, oh, the stress is just horrendous. I mean, I, I can't tell you. I just I um, <laughs> it's been awful. Kevin you Peters know. says he lost I mean, his I job during know. the height of the pandemic. So in July, he applied for rental assistance to help cover 11 months of rent. He says his application sat in the final review stage for six weeks, and just yesterday, his status changed to submit it for funding. I asked Oregon Housing and Community Services how long final review should take and was told it varies. The non-transparency part of it is just mind-boggling. The simple fact that you, you're, you ask just a couple simple questions and there is no, no, no answer. Nothing. Kevin says he's also concerned about glitches in the system. He says at one point he was notified documents were missing, but wasn't told what he needed to provide. Then, without him doing anything, the issue resolved itself. He also says he's been asked multiple times for information he already submitted. I understand that they're overwhelmed. I mean, I get that. But there has to be a more a simpler application to get it done. And aside from the chat function on the website and 211, he says he's had no luck finding someone to talk to directly for help. I mean, and I'm not the only one. And I mean, and I, I know there's people that are in worst case scenarios, a lot worse than, off than I am. And I can't imagine. I brought his concerns to OHCS and they told me they're looking into his case. So far, statewide, out of the 45, nearly 45,000 applications submitted, less than half have been paid. Reporting live, I'm Lindsay Natterch, Point Six News. Lindsay, and we've said it again and again, it's been frustrating, but we appreciate you covering this for quite some time now. Thank you.